Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome, boys and girls, to Fulton County Library Systems Streaming Storytime. My name is Kevin Brown. I'm the manager here at the Mechanicsville branch, and I will be conducting the story time today. We'll wait for a few more minutes. I think we've got one more minute. And I'll go over the books that we'll do today. So glad that you could join us this morning. Excuse me. So, a few more seconds. It's 11 o'clock. We're going to do four books today. Um, the first book is called Stripe. And it's a really pretty book by Joanne Partis. The second book we'll do today is Tad and Dad. That's by David Stein. It's kind of funny. The third book we'll do today is Play This Book. It's colorful and it's pretty and it <clears throat> has a lot of instruments in it. Jessica Young and Daniel Wiseman are the authors. And the last book we'll do is Splat Says Thank You by Rob Scotton. I like Splat. He's kind of cool. So before we get started, want us to sing a little song. And even if you can't sing <laughs> like me, uh, please join along. We'll do it first and you can listen and then you can sing the second time. So here we go. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story, sit real still. If you're ready for a story, sit real still. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, sit real still. Okay, let's try it again. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story, sit real still. If you're ready for a story, sit real still. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, sit real still. How many of you clapped? How many of you stomped your feet? How many of you are sitting still? Well, I hope you are, because the first book is Strike by Joanne Partis. Pretty pictures. And I'll try to make sure I get real close. Stripe lived with his mom and dad at the edge of a huge jungle. Never go there by yourself, said his mom. It's very dangerous. One hot afternoon, his mom and dad fell asleep. The jungle looks cool, 
thought strike. Maybe I'll go in there just for a minute. Hmm, is that a good idea? We'll have to see. Stripe trotted happily through the trees, getting farther and farther away from home. Just then, he spotted a bee's nest high up in the tree. Honey, Stripe thought excitedly, there's the bee's nest. Can you see it? How many of you like honey? I do. But as he stretched up to reach the hive, he heard a loud noise. The bees were angry and chased poor Stripe away. Look at the bees and look at Stripe. He's running as fast as he can. Right out of the jungle and into the river. Look at all those bees after him. I hope he can swim. Can you swim? Under the water, Stripe was safe from the bees. Look how pretty it is under the water with all the colorful fish and the bees couldn't hurt him. Cautiously, he swam to the surface and pulled himself onto a log. The bees were gone, but Stripe had a feeling that he was being watched. So he's safe on a log, but look what's behind him. Hmm, what do you think those are? Let's see, holy cow. The river was full of hungry caterpillars. I'm sorry, crocodiles, not caterpillars. Stripe paddled hard as they chased him down the river. Look at all of them. Man. I didn't know crocodiles like tigers, but there sure are a lot of them chasing him. He's riding that log, and he's still riding it. And out to sea, just as the snapping jaws were getting close, Stripe spotted a cave in the distance. It looked like a good place to hide. So, he sees a cave. And he's riding right in that direction. He's going to get away. What do you think? But the closer he got, the stranger the cave looked. It was not a cave at all. It was a whale's mouth. Wow. Inside the whale, it was very cold and dark. Stripe was scared. Then he had an idea. With the tip of his tail, he tickled the top of the whale's mouth. Can you see? Look, his tail is tickling the top of the whale's mouth. What do you think will happen? What happens when your mouth gets tickled? Ah, choo! Wow. The whale sneezed and Stripe flew high into the air out of the whale's air hole. Can you see it? That looks like a fun ride. And then he was falling, 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 boom, bump, right on his feet. He fell right on his feet. Where is he? Stripe landed back at home where his mom and dad were just waking up. <laughs> I won't go back to the jungle for a long time, thought Stripe. 
and he curled up and went to sleep. So his mom and dad never knew that he was gone. They were asleep the whole time. While he was on a fun, well, scary adventure in the jungle. That was Stripe. Pretty pictures, huh? The next book is Tad and Dad by David Stein. My dad has big buggy eyes, strong legs, and a huge mouth. So that's his dad. And the little one is Tad. He sings in a loud burp that echoes across the pond. And I love him. Boy, he has a big mouth, huh? Does your dad have a big mouth? As soon as I could wiggle, I swam everywhere with my dad. Look, dad. Look at me. Great swimming, Tad. Dad tried to tuck me in at night, but splash. I followed him to his bed. Do you follow your dad to the bed? Do you follow your mom to the bed? Why are you in my bed, said Dad. So you won't miss me, I said. I went to sleep and dreamt that I could swim as fast as dad. So when you go in there, you don't want your mom or dad to miss you, right? And then I grew legs. Surprise, dad. So that's what was kicking me. Look at Tad, he's growing. Because at first, he didn't have legs. See? That's how he looked on that page. And then, voila, he grew some legs. And he can jump. That day, I reached new heights. Look at me, Dad. Great hopping, son. So now, Tad can hop like that. Can you hop? Dad tried to tuck me in at night, but splash again. He didn't go to sleep. I followed him to his bed. That night, I dreamt I was the best jumper in the world, like Dad. And he even jumped on his dad's eye. I bet that hurt. Are you jumping now? I think I see you. And then I grew a big mouth and I could sing. Good morning, dad. Is it morning already? I don't think dad's getting a lot of sleep in this story. Dad's mouth. It's getting bigger. That day, the pond was alive with the sound of music made by me and Dad. Ba, 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 ba. Birds are listening. Insects are listening. Maybe they sound good. Dad tried to tuck me in at night, but splash. It's me, Tad, I said. That night, I dreamt I could sing as loud as Dad. Wow, look how big his mouth is getting. His dad doesn't look too happy. <laughs> and then I grew really big and I was 
very hungry. Hi, Dad. What's for breakfast? Oh. So, he's ready to eat. What do you think he wants for breakfast? That day, we helped ourselves to a feast. Look at me, Dad. And look, his tongue is so long. And he got that little insect. Great shot, son. Dad tried to tuck me in at night, but what's going to happen this time? Splash! Wow. That's pretty big. Tad, said Dad. When you jump in my bed, I can't sleep because you're always wiggling and poking and kicking and croaking. I don't, I didn't know that, Dad, I said. Why do you want to sleep in my bed, said Dad. Are you trying to drive me bananas? I'm sorry, Dad, but don't worry. I don't want to sleep in your bed anymore anyway. You snore. So, I think Tad has gotten so big, he doesn't want to sleep with his dad anymore. How can I snore when I don't even sleep, said Dad. Good night, Dad, I said. For the first time, I swam away from Dad. Ah, said Dad. Peace at last. So, his dad was happy. I tried to go to sleep, but I heard a big herbert. Someone huge was splashing around. Frog on it, said a voice, a loud voice. So Tad looks like he's a little afraid. Would you be afraid if you heard Herbert at night? I couldn't believe my eyes. It was Dad. He was wiggling and poking and kicking and croaking. Wiggling, poking, kicking and croaking. He was splashing around and making a big ruckus. What's wrong, Dad? I said, I still can't sleep. So at first he was complaining the Tad was always doing something and he couldn't sleep. Then Tad left, and he still can't sleep. I think I know what you need, Dad. A little company, I said. Is that better, Dad? Once he got close to him, maybe better, he said. Soon Dad was fast asleep. I was right. I knew he would miss me. So Tad was right. His dad enjoyed his company. Did you like that one? I see Kylie, Eddie, Olive are joining us. Hi, I hope you like the stories. The next book is Play This Book, and it's by Jessica Young and Daniel Wiseman. Let's see. We're going, we're going to have a show today. These instruments can't wait to play. To start our show, we need a band. Maybe you can lend a hand. Look at all the instruments. Do you all play instruments? You can rock on the guitar. Try it out. You'll be a star. Give it a strum with your thumb. Strum, 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 strum. Make the drum go rat ta tat. You can pat it just like that. Drum a beat, then repeat. Rat ta tat, rat ta tat, rat ta tat, rat ta tat. Piano keys lie in a row. Some play high and some play low. Tap these keys 
Will you please? Ting, 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 tum, tum, tum. Ting, 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 tum, tum, tum. Mm, 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 mm. Hey, the band is sounding sweet. Feel the music in your feet. Count to four, then play some more. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Here's some rhythm on a stick. Maracas rattle, chick, chick, chick. You can make them shake, shake, shake them. Chick, 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 chick. chick. Oh, wow. A saxophone goes dooby-doo. I can do it, and you can too. Blow that thing and make it swing. Dooby, dooby, doo. Dooby, dooby, doo. The slide trombone is loud and long. Hold it high and play it strong. Slide that slide on the side. Womp, womp. Then symbols clash, they go crash. Close the book and make them smash. One, two, three, play with me. Crash, 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 crash. Now you're Practice how to play. You can play this book your way. Play along, we'll make a song. Strum, 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 strum. Rat tat tat, rat tat tat. Tink, tink, tunk, tunk. Chick, 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 chick. Doobie, doobie. Doobie, do, doobie, do. Womp, womp. Womp, womp, womp. Womp, womp. Womp, womp, womp. Let's hit the symbol one more time. <laughs> what a show. Bravo, bravo. You played this book just like a pro. Stand up now and take a bow. So everyone listening who was participating, stand up and take a bow. Very good. I salute you all. Great job. Everybody's clapping. The adults around you should be clapping. Get it? The end. That's a fun book. The last book is Splat. Says thank you by Rob Scott. Splat was worried that Seymour hadn't smiled all day. Wow. He was covered in spots and not feeling well. This isn't right, thought Splat. How can we make Seymour smile? Seymour looks not so happy. Let's see what's happening. Splat pulled a book from a drawer and showed it to Seymour. I made it for you, Splat said. I call it a friendship book. That was nice of Splat. He made him a book. Splat opened the book. It began quite simple. For Seymour, the best mouse I know. Seymour sneezed. Achoo! Splat turned the page and began to read aloud. When I was scared to try out for the school play, you encouraged me to do it anyway, said Splat. And see, Seymour pulled Splat. <laughs> Thank you. He didn't really want to do it. And when Mrs. Wimpy Dimple gave me the lead role, I couldn't have learned my lines without you. Thank you, Splat continued. So we helped him again. And when I laughed so hard at Plank that I forgot my lines, let's see what happens. 
I think Seymour is going to help him again. You help me remember them. Five beans for the cow. That's Seymour holding up the sign. Thank you. Can you see? Got to hold it just right. Splat looked at Seymour and thought that he was just about to smile. But he sneezed and said, Achoo! Splat read on. That's a pretty nice book. When I broke my mom's favorite ornament, you fixed it for me, said Splat. Wow. I don't know how much fixing that is. <laughs> Except somehow, mom noticed, and I had to have a bath and go to bed early. Thank you anyway. Splat doesn't look happy, and neither does his mommy. When I had my bath and got my toe stuck, who knew what to do? Put some soap on it. How did he get his toe stuck in the faucet? Thank you. And when I went to bed early, you sneaked me a flashlight so I could read my book, says Flat, Secret Agent Cat. Thank you. Do you use a flashlight to read your book at night? When I overslept the next morning, you woke me up so that I wasn't late for school, says Flat. <laughs> Seymour hit a home. Thank you. When I borrowed my brother's kite and we played for hours, you made it so much fun. Thank you, says Splat. It's not much fun for Seymour riding on a kite way up in the air. Then when I climbed a tree to rescue my brother's kite and got stuck. Holy God, look at that. Look at all those birds. They're wondering why it's Splat in the tree. You rescued me, says Splat. Thank you. Splat looked at Seymour and thought that he was about to smile this time. But he hiccuped Hiccup. instead. Splat read on. When I pretended I was speeding through space in my rocket ship, about to be the first cat on the moon, and Spike passed me in a faster rocket ship and tried to become the first cat on the moon instead. He told me space cats never give up. That's a good friend. Never give up. So I didn't, continued Splat. Thank you. Splat looked at Seymour and thought that Seymour was about to smile this time, but Seymour scratched a tick tickly ear instead. So Splat read some more. But Seymour is not smiling. When I told you my biggest secret and you didn't tell anyone, thank you. Ooh. Told him a secret about a, a girl cat. And he didn't tell. And when Spike gave Kitten a bigger Valentine card than the one I gave her, and you knew how to make me feel better. Thank you. He brought him some cupcakes with fish bones in them. When little sis was covered in spots and not feeling well, you made her smile, says Splat. Thank you. So that was nice. Seymour even helps with Splat's little sister. And when I was covered in spots and not feeling well, you made me smile. Thank you. You are my smallest friend and my biggest, he added. And I just want to say, so I think I know how Seymour got sick. Maybe he got the spots from Splat. Thank you. And now he doesn't have any spots. The end. Woo. Four books. Did you have fun? I hope so. I did. Let's finish with our song. If you're happy with your stories, clap your hands. If you're happy with your stories, clap your hands. If you're happy with your stories, if you're happy with your stories, if you're happy with your stories, clap your hands. If you're happy with your stories, wave goodbye. Bye-bye.
If you're happy with your stories, wave goodbye. Bye bye. If you're happy with your stories, if you're happy with your stories, if you're happy with your stories, wave goodbye. Bye, boys and girls. I'll see you next time. Thanks for coming. Ooh.